So I'm going to uh, show how to install, basically modify and then install a two-speed Fulton boat winch for your trailer. The uh, FI-21, the Centurion here, is a 2018. And uh, it came with this single speed with the long handle. And when you get on a steep ramp, the boat actually lands on the handle and can smash your fingers and get stuck and whatnot. So I bought this two-speed Fulton and it mounts pretty funky like that. Everybody says you have to modify. Whereas the single speed has a very simple plate. Centurion decided to weld the bolts on and you can't get to the back side so that presents a problem. So the first thing I did was decided that uh, I'm gonna have to go through the back side. So I'm gonna grind off access on the back. It'll still be structurally sound because of the good weld and solid post we've got here. These bolts are not long enough to get nuts onto through the new Fulton. So we're gonna have to deal with that. Grinder drill and then we'll see what we need next. All right, so I've ground a uh, rectangular hole in the back side and uh, yeah we can weld up some support over that after we're done but for now I ain't got access to the back. And you're going okay well that's ugly and what if it breaks? Well, guess what? This is uh, about three inch square tube. It's not gonna break. And uh, you've got this extra support welded here from the factory, makes it stiffer on that section. You've also got this bracing down here. Is it ugly? Well, right now, but what if, you know, you weld it on the backside and paint it, nobody's gonna even notice. Another thing is you're going, well, why don't you just put a shorter handle on the single speed? But to that, I say, have you ever tried to winch this thing up on a steep ramp on the bunks with a shorter handle on a single speed? Not gonna be that easy. All right, so uh, we're gonna let out the strap to give us more room down there for the uh, bolt ends and the nut, and uh, we'll go from there. It, it doesn't look cool, but we've got this new hardware bolt in the top, and it came with bolts, nuts, whatever. These actually stick out about a quarter inch, and I'm thinking I can get them threaded on there. Um, but we let some strap out in order to get to it with the tools, so let's put it back on there. Line it up. Oh look, you're wearing a Centurion hat too, <laughs> nice. Yep. Okay. okay, we're gonna take these, uh, these are T25 bolts, we're gonna remove those. Get this plate off of here and see if I can get to the bolts and the nuts down below. There it goes. And no, it's behind the gear. Just a little glitch. Um, can't quite get the bolts started down there because the access holes they have under here are too tight for your fingers. And you can't go straight back from here. So we're gonna try another thing and if that doesn't work, we're gonna remove the whole assembly. So I put that back on because it was too scary having all those gears hanging out. And now we've got the reel out, which is a lot easier to take apart. And um, I think we can thread the, the nut onto the bolts down in there by hand now because our previously attempts did not work. And I'm just gonna put my finger on there and hold it from the backside and get it started. It's tightening now, but I gotta hold it still. Okay, it's good enough. All right, so I managed to get the two bolts or nuts on at the bottom. 
but I cleaned them off with uh, brake cleaner first because they're kind of greasy and then put the uh, thread locker on there since they don't have a huge bite and they are um, nylock nuts with the nylon locker insert which doesn't quite go all the way to the bottom uh, I figured thread locker would be a good idea and uh, Again, I put the gear cover back on because I didn't want that stuff falling out and turning into a disaster. But uh, we just need to tighten up the top one, it'll be done. All right, as you can see, I got a little bit of thread locker on there just to drop. And then I can hand install the, uh, the nut onto the bolt that's through the back side. So uh, tightening up the top bolt, got the three bottom bolts tight. Um, I did have to hold the back side. I should have gone down to the hardware store and got a regular head like that, but I just used the uh, one that came in the package. And I just put some uh, needle nose on there, and once it started to tighten down, it stayed. So we're good there. Now all we gotta do is put all this spool back together and everything, and we'll be done. Kinda hard to do this one-handed, but I'm gonna attempt. Put the spool back down in there where it's supposed to be on the gears, lined up in the hole. Looks good. Just slide this pin through. If I can do this with one hand on, oh, there we go. Pops that out and this little pin here goes in like that. Pushes through and you got locked. I left this oriented on the strap so I knew which way it goes on back up there and then we're going to tighten down these four um, t-bolts Don't overdo it. This cast won't hold up to that. You have to do the back by hand. Not quite enough room here. Alright, so it's all buttoned up and uh, functional and tight. And you just have to fix that backside access there, which I'll probably cut some plate and then just bolt it in, screw it in so that there's at the least a cover there and silicone it so it's not leaking. And uh, we're good to go.